Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. I'm getting ready to go have lunch with some friends in about 30 minutes, uh, but I'm gonna I'm just kind of take you guys along today. Uh, I'm gonna first straighten up the house a little bit, uh, but I wanted to show you guys really quick that Dollar Tree haul I did uh, last a few days ago, and I showed you the wall, that wall mural. I have I had no idea it was as big as it is. It's as it's wide as I am. I mean, as I am tall. So I'm gonna hold it up out here and just show you guys really quick. Clap your hands and you feel stronger. Tomorrow you get another chance. I had no idea it was that big. No idea. It's uh, but I'm five four, almost five, about five four and a half. And it's uh, it was wider than I am tall. So if you guys are interested in that mural, shoot, you could actually cover a table with that. So, but it's called a wall mural, but I think it's plenty big to cover a table. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might use it for tablecloth because I didn't know it was that big and it's really too big for any of my walls. So not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but if you guys did see that and you're interested in getting it, yeah, I wanted you to know it's really big. <laughs> I do not like leaving the house with a bunch of clutter waiting for me when I get home. So even though things weren't too bad, I know that we're hitting the weekend and it's just going to get worse. <laughs> so uh, with just the two of us here, it's amazing how uh, cluttered things can get. So I just like to every morning get my dishwasher unloaded. Uh, just so it's ready for the day. Even though I'm not really doing much cooking today, uh, once this dishwasher is unloaded, things just go smoothly. But if I just miss this one step in my day, it throws me off for the rest of the day. So what do you guys think? Um, is I think it's these little, these simple little routines. Uh, they don't take long, but they make a huge difference when you don't do them. So for me, this took uh, just a few minutes but when I got back uh, later, I didn't have to worry about this. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna run out the door now, go meet my friends, and we're gonna head out for lunch. I'll check in with you guys uh, on the way. So I'm on my way uh, to meet my friends, and uh, we're actually heading out of town um, to a little mountain town called Florence. It's uh, right, right at the foot of the mountains. Very pretty, and we're gonna have lunch there. And I have my mask. So I have no idea where we're eating there. I'm not really sure what restaurants are there. It's been so long. Uh, since I was there and um, so I'm looking forward to this it'll be a nice treat and I think there's gonna be a four of us all together so you know I wasn't sure what to wear because it snowed here the other day and then uh, it's gonna be in the mid 70s where I'm at so probably where I'm heading it's gonna be somewhere in the maybe 70s so um, I'm not sure I wasn't sure what to wear I wore a light sweater and I was gonna wear boots because I think boots would look really cute but I ended up wearing some slip-on shoes because well ladies um oh shoot I just went down the wrong road oh I'm uh <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just going a short ways to meet my friend because we're meeting at her friend's house and then this other gal is driving <laughs> so she's just around the corner from me basically but um Anyway, so I was gonna wear boots and I decided to wear these slip-on shoes because I am um, sort of at that age where I'm known to have power surges and I don't like my feet all too toasty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I need a sweater that I can take off. So, all right guys, I am technically two minutes late right now. <sighs> two minutes, <gasps> but I'm like, 10 seconds from her house. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. Our first stop was at the Ito Japanese Steakhouse Sushi and Thai Restaurant. And that, I don't know if I pronounced that right, it's I-T-O. They're right on Main Street. 
and you can see their menu is amazing. Um, I did not have uh, the sushi, but I hear it's really good. This little town uh, was, it's called Florence, Colorado, and it was originally built as a transportation town that had uh, three railroads that supplied coal to the neighboring uh, mining towns. And uh, it was actually at one time, it, it um, was the first oil center west of the Mississippi. It was named Florence after the daughter of the local settler, James McCandless. My own parents are buried not too far from here. This is a wonderful uh, antiquing place too. They have so many little shops, little antique shops, and uh, quite a few really nice restaurants. So that was fun. Oops. We're about, it was about an hour drive, not too bad. And that was such a cute little town. And we, um, they have some really nice restaurants. I'm gonna have to go back. It's been a long time since I've been there. It's a little town called Florence, uh, Colorado. And um, it's very small, but they had some cute restaurants, some antique shops. And I think I'm gonna tell John, we're gonna have to go up there and spend uh, an afternoon there and just take Roscoe and maybe stop there at a little Italian restaurant that I'd like to go to and we can sit there and sit out front with Roscoe. They have little bowls so your uh, dog would have um, drink a drink of water and it's so fun. So just would be a beautiful drive too. So yeah, just looking for ways to get out, uh, do little short day trips and things like that. And the weather, you know, is going to be getting colder and the roads icy here so sometimes you just want to stay close to home plus our leaves are going to be changing soon and I'm sure well everywhere I mean we have uh, we have a beautiful uh, this time of year beautiful drives here through the Colorado mountains so I am um, yeah I'm looking forward to all of that so and then I was talking to my friends it's always good to talk to your girlfriends about you know uh, girl things. So, um, so we we had a really great conversation and about well, all kinds of things, <laughs> and it was just so good to just get away. And they told me about a little thing called the eye tracker, which is sort of like Weight Watchers, but it's basically very similar. And it's 
it's, I guess it's, I don't know, it's, a, it's an alternative. So I downloaded it on my phone and I'm gonna start tracking my calories and things, my activity and all of that on the eye tracker. I'd never heard of it before, so it's new to me. Been plateaued on my weight. Um, I'd like to lose five pounds if I can. Not sure if that's gonna happen, but. All right, well, that's gonna be my little video today. Not a whole lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed the pics of us getting out. It was a really nice day. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will, and do take good care. Hit that like button and leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.